up in the gas, Rick Man once again for G6 Street Dream. Check this out. Finally got a time to change my upper control arms on this thing. Check it out. They got the poly bushings. I bought the knuckles like that. So they already come with those things right here. But they're already beat up. They're pretty old. So that's the arms, control arms. I'm gonna take this uh 14 millimeters out, that one and that one, that one and that one. This one right here, boom, come out. I hope this bushing comes out easy. Uh, da, 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 da. People wonder about my flares. Yes, I cut the body, check it out. That's the only way you can fit your wheels. I got two jacks over there, ba bam. I got my super kit right here from Home Depot. Husky, no snapper, no nothing like that. I got my super trusty Dewalt with the adapter and i got my super amazon wibbly 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 for the price man they're good gear wrench is the same brand the uh, all the auto ports sell it so there you go i'll pay like 30 something for that this thing is awesome right here this pry bar is really really cool it's like 13 bucks on eBay, 20 bucks on Amazon, super strong, super slim, the right size. I put a little bit of seat system tape on it to have a little bit of grip. Um, that's gonna help me get the, the bushings out. Yeah. Boom, bam. I mean, this thing's nice. Really, really nice for the price. Check it out on YouTube, check it out on Google. Got a little good reviews on it. And uh, like I say, it's, it feels really strong, so we're gonna try it. So. Always need one of those. Uh, so that's the plan, guys. Let's check it guys, out. I got the 14 millimeters out. Now I'm working on taking this 17 right here on the top from the knuckle. Check this out. That's what I'm talking about. See? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. See that? Boom. So you see, you don't need expensive tools, guys. Harbor Freight Jacks. They work awesome. I got four of them. Um, another tip if you're gonna refresh your Brambos, check it out. You can buy those stickers from Amazon or eBay, super cheap, nice high quality BHP paint. Um, that's for engine blocks, and then you use a nice clear coat for it. Boom, there you go. See, that's my two inch spacers. We're working on the setup for the wheels yet, no, yet. I already talked to a company and uh. They want me to send some measurement from the front to clear the calipers and get a nice offset. Same thing here on the back. So that's coming next this year and more carbon fiber. This is the old one, original from 1995. I mean, bushing is still good. That's a plus. Uh, it's light, a little heavy. This one is lighter. Way, 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 way nicer. So, ready to put it on. Nice, ready oh. Remove the old bushing. We're gonna apply some of this grease that it comes in the package. Okay. This one's kinda hard to get it out because it's one piece, so they press it in with the press. You can see it's already beat up. Um, I was using my drill. I think this is a one inch old uh, brush cleaner. So I went through like that. Just going easy with it. You can see all the rust. So it's just kind of clean. You grab a rag. You clean it. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Like that. Good thing about these bushings, they're two pieces. I mean, actually three pieces, you can see, boom. So I'm gonna apply some of this lube over, over here, like that. Squeeze it so you get the idea, right? Now, guys, that, that's how it's supposed to look like. Boom, there you go. That's the clamp that I was using. Check it, works nice, really strong. Okay, all right, guys, I got the open control arm installed. Check this out, that's what I was talking about. This thing is super adjustable. This is right here, you know. I don't know if you guys know, when you do a camber on this one, you put shims under here, behind the, the brackets. Well, this one, you got this adjustable ends, both ends, check it out. So that's pretty much how it looks right now. I got my another jack 
pushing this one up higher to see how it will sit and to see where these arms should go. Like I say, car is lower, but not that low. So probably gonna start right on the top. That way my arm is, is more straight, more level. And, and this adjustment sort of right here, kind of the same thing. I go with the, with the first hole right here, right on the end. Push it back, that way I got my camber right, you know, to clear my fender flares and I make that wheel fit. So basically that's how it look like. All right, guys, these things are amazing. So time to do the other side. I'm gonna put the wheels, I ain't gonna uh, bolt nothing tight right now. I just gonna let it loose. So I can play with it with the camber uh, cause you got a lot of adjustments, you know, bulks, arms got adjustments here, there, here. So I got three adjustments on the bottom. Well, I got this one for the camber right here, the lower one, the main one. So how that one, I got her all the way in just to see. And same thing with this one. So I got all the way in just to see. So I'm going to leave the jack like that. Well, I'm gonna put the wheel, I'm gonna put a bore under the tire, lift it up with the jack, and just let the car see it level and see how it looks. Uh, all right, let's do the All right, side. guys, I got this thing on the air. Like I said, I put the jack with a piece of wood. Mm, put the car in first gear. That way it won't roll up, whatever. Roll down, whatever. So there you go, it looked like, it looked like to me, this side right here, it's in a lot. You can see it, it's in a lot. So it was the same thing on the other side. Uh, so I ended up taking the, the wheel off, the tire off. And this one right here, I extend the, the leg. Let's call it the leg. I extend this side out. I left this one all the way tight. This bushing right here, I just unscrew it and push this side out so I can have this thing more straight. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure it to see how much I have. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and same thing, put the tire back, I mean the wheel back in, tighten it up, put the jack, lift it up and see how it looks just to my eyes. Cause I'm gonna take it to an alignment plane. This is gonna be kind of crazy cause I know if I go right here in this little town, I don't know who can do that. They're going to be like, oh, we ain't going to do it. Or they're going to give me a hard time, even um, if I'm going to explain it how to do it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if it's not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Car is super low. Super low on the front. You imagine the car that low like that? Oh, my God. So sexy. So there you go, guys. See what happened now. Hey guys, I was wrong. Adjusting the right side of the control arm. So ended up putting it back where it was. And I was adjusting the bulk, bulk arms on the sides. So I can bring this side out and this side in. So now, wheel and tire, the wheel looks center this way. And my camber looks better than what it was so i'm gonna match the measurements on both sides and see what happened man it's a lot of work putting it back taking it off putting it back taking it off oh, so there you go it's the best i can do i think by eye it looks pretty straight because before it looked like the wheel was this way a lot now it's pretty much center pretty much i got the same space on the sides uh it's tricky you know it's tricky to get this thing right. I know for sure when I take it to alignment play, it's gonna be way off, but they did the front last time. They did the front last year and they did it right. Works perfect. So now we're gonna take it back and see what happened. But I tried to, you know, I tried to make it best I can so I can drive the car and, and just test all the parts from the GSX swap. So there you go, guys. I think it looks pretty good. Alright guys, thank you for checking out. Ricky Man once again for GSX Your Dream.